Hey YouTube, what's good? It's Sky. In this video today, we are going to be looking at G Fuel's Compound V collector's box that was an Amazon exclusive, and I have a few things to say about that whole process. We'll get to that. But I already reviewed this flavor with Ehoff. I will be making another shaker full today because I haven't touched it since then. And I might even go grab another shaker and water because I thought it reminded me of Party Punch. I think I'm most of the time when I say stuff like that, I'm the only person that thinks that and it is what it is, but you know. <laughs> but we're just gonna do a little retaste test today and show off the collector's box. But the thing I wanted to say is that this being I'm pretty positive the very first exclusive to Amazon collector's box, and I've seen so many people Amazon shipped their collector's box in one of Amazon's, you know, envelopes and not a box. So that's already not smart on Amazon's part. Truthfully though, yesterday when I received my box, my Compound V box, it did come in a box. Mine did not come in an envelope. I don't know if that, I don't know if it just depends on which warehouse is coming from or how any of that works, but... Mine actually came in a box. Not, it, it had like, you know, the big bubble wrap. It's not the bubble wrap with all the little tiny bubbles, but like the air pockets. I don't know if you know what that, what I'm talking about, but that's what it came in. And my box has minimal damage, but still it got some damage even though it was in an actual box. So it's fine. I'm not going to do the refund thing. Like this doesn't. Even if I display the box, I just, I don't I, I I feel like I don't need to. But apparently, if you complain to Amazon, say your box was damaged, you could get a refund. I don't know. I've never done that. Don't quote me. But yeah, I also don't like that they put a little sticker to close up the box because you can ruin the box. So I just I just cut through the tape. But this is the collector's box, Compound V. From the boys so we'll just we'll just do a little turn around on this box here I can't remember where my temp V collector's box is I can't remember where I put it I'm pretty sure I kept it out but I don't know where it is but I think I liked that box better I like the green colors more than than this one but here is this side here's the front again as you can see, it's the, just the front of the box that has this crunching action going on. And then there's that sticker. It's either a sticker or a piece of tape, whatever. But I also don't like that there wasn't any, there's no special stickers in, I think, either of these boxes. Which makes me kind of sad. But here is the, the boys shaker cup for Compound V that comes in this box. Obviously, I do think I definitely like the green one we got in the other box a lot more than this one. Yeah, I do. <laughs> then it has this like copper, gold, something in between um, stopper. And then the insert is red. So, interesting color scheme. But I guess you kind of got like Homelander's color scheme going on maybe. He's got red and blue, and this is his his belt, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I think I definitely like the other one better. But I'm glad to add this to the collection. I definitely will keep this one out because I I like the boys. <laughs> and then we already, we've seen this before, but if you want to see my unopened tub of this now. So I will say definitely ordering... The tub by itself, it came a lot faster, but also this kind of leaked before the fact of the collector's box and stuff coming out. And the collector's box and the cans, I don't know if you're going to be able to read any of this, but the collector's box and the cans came out earlier than they were supposed to. They were supposed to come out two days ago on the 22nd, but they were like leaked early and I found the links, so... There's perks to being in the, the G Fuel groups on Facebook that I'm in. So if you aren't in those groups, definitely go join them. But 
we have the unopened tub here. So let's just let's just get this. Also to recap, compound V, well temp V was just sour lemon lime. Then this is, has sour lemon lime and sweet berry and coconut and tart ginseng. <laughs> so it's just a very interesting combination. I kind of honestly wish that it was not, it didn't have the sour lemon lime in this one too. But I guess if you do think about it, temp V is a temporary form, obviously, of compound V. So definitely a lot less going on. But this mix of these flavors together in here sounds like it would kill you more than temp V would. So I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know, it's just just a strange combination of things. So let's mix this mix this up, and you know, look at the color again. So I my outfit's also blue today. It kind of wasn't. I didn't. I, I didn't plan it. All right, here we are, compound V. Take a good look, folks. Yes. <laughs> I can't. I can't tell you for the life of me. What out of sour lemon lime, sweet berry, coconut, and tart ginseng at all makes me think of Party Punch. But I'm going to see what I think again here. I will link my original first review of Compound V down below because Eof's in it as well. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely go check that out after you've watched this one. I will also, I'll have it in the description, but I'll also have it at the end of the video. So you can click it then if, you, if you'd like to. So it kind of matches the shirt almost perfectly. Like, it doesn't really smell weird. Like, it smells like, well, I mean, it smells weird, weirdly not fruity, I guess. Like, it has that slight, slight whisper of citrus. I don't know. I smelled it a lot in my original review, too. But let's go ahead and uh, take another sip, another try on uh, Compound V. All right. I just washed my hair, so it's doing weird things in the back. So coming back to it, I need to like not look at my phone. It's not as bad as my initial thoughts or feelings about it. For some reason. I don't know. I don't know. It has that slight baby hint of party punch in water. But... This is definitely something I could drink over Party Punch, a million percent, because Party Punch, I just can't get through a shaker of it. I, I just, I really hate it. <laughs> really hate it. Uh, but, but I think I would say I would very much drink Temp V over Compound V, being honest. It just has, it's, it's easier and... I don't know, I just like, I think I slightly like it better. I think, I think Creamy Boy said that it was the most boring GIFA flavor of 2022, Dent V was, because it's just sour lemon lime. Which, you know, I agree. It, it, it most likely is, out of all the flavors we've gotten this year. But, I don't know, it's not bad. It's not bad, it's pretty easy. I know we got that, and then we just got the OG lemon lime, but... Definitely that OG lemon lime tub over Tempe. It's just so much better. But I don't know. I don't remember what rating I gave it in my video, my original review. But I think at this moment in time, I'm probably just give it a seven. I think I could finish a shaker cup full of it, but I think I'd just give it a solid seven. No points here, just a straight seven. <laughs> but it's, I've, I've been feeling a little, 
I'm excited for the upcoming G4 flavors, but I'm also kind of getting annoyed with all the new announcements because if you, if you weren't paying attention, we're getting strawberry limeade, which sounds bomb. But we are also getting the watermelon limeade. We also already got a sour lemon lime flavor, another sour lime lemon lime flavor with other stuff in it, which is this one that we're trying today. We just got that OG lemon lime. We just had like Thor's Lightning Lemonade and what else? I feel like there's something else I'm missing. There's probably some other citrus lemon or limey type of flavor that I'm missing that we've gotten recently, but watermelon lemonade, electric strike. <laughs> we're just getting a lot of lemonades and limeades right now. And it's very interesting that we're getting them all at the same time. That's just all that I've been thinking about, is that it's so weird to me. But it is what it is. I give this flavor a solid 7. If you didn't pick this up, let me know why. It, it, it's probably going to be on Amazon for a minute. If you don't want, if you don't care about the box, because good chance it could get a bit damaged. But if you would like this shaker cup, which, it, there, it, this, it's in good condition, nothing happened to it. It did have some, like, plasticky excess on it that I had to wipe off, but it's not the... I've gotten shakers from G-Fuel that have had that before, so it's not just a one-time thing with Amazon, so... I don't know. Let me know what you think of this flavor. Let me know if you've had both Temp V and Compound V. Which one do you vibe with more? I'm curious, but I think that's going to be it for this video. So don't forget to check all my links down in the description. Link to my original review, excuse me, is also one of the links in the description. And I will put it at the end of the video somewhere around here. Probably either one of my, one of, one of these sides. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content from me. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.